Good morning, everybody. 47 degrees out there. A lot colder than it was just uh, three, four days ago when we were in the 90s. Got a dumpster showing up today, supposedly. And uh, I want to cut some more wood. Because that does not get done by itself. Oh, that's two tanks of gas right there. I just ran out 15, 20 minutes till I run in for lunch, so I think I'm gonna split some of this.
Well, it's a quarter after six now. After lunch, the dumpster showed up, and then I had to bring Brandon in for uh, an appointment. And then Melissa got home and stuff, and I just was uh, let the dogs out. And in the backyard, there was two deer. There was a buck and a doe. There was actually more than that, but the buck and the doe came out. And then the other ones were coming out, but then Joni went around the back side of the campers. I may, or maybe they saw me. I, I, I knew that they saw me. They were looking at me, but one of them blew, and then they all turned around and went back. Starting to see more of them, though. Well, that was one more tank. I think I'm gonna go fill it up. I'm getting there, guys. I can see the bottom of the pile now, except for I see some really big ones down there. I'll split all those, though. Okay, everyone, 20 minutes to eight. I really wanted to get that pile done. <laughs> Almost there. I'm done for today. Good morning, everybody. It's actually almost 11 o'clock right now. My dad came up this morning and he was here probably an hour and a half. And uh, we just talked for a while. I picked some stuff out of the garden here for my mom, some tomatoes, a green pepper, and some of these big zucchini. And she sent, I gave her zucchini when we had that family reunion. And she made zucchini, she calls them zucchini cupcakes. She said they don't have frosting on them. They're more like a muffin, but she said they're really good. So later on today, I'm gonna try those. And now he headed up to the cabin and he's gonna have a few trees to clear on that driveway, but the road going in there has been cleared to the driveway. I told him just to, you know, clear enough so he can get through and I'll, I'll fix up the rest when I get up there. And then I'm going to have him go check the tent for me also. Just got a little second look at it. Now I'm going to go out and cut wood for about one tank of gas and then I'm going to go in and I have to make 
I'm going to make hamburger helper for lunch. I want to get that wood pile done today if I can. Brandon is at his physical therapy right now, and when he gets back, I think this afternoon, he's going to help load up this dumpster. I was talking to Melissa, and she was saying maybe I can hook up that snowmobile trailer to the four-wheeler, and that would be easier to haul stuff around. I, I Normally, I would have put this right in front uh, over here, so it would be easier to get to from the guest house with that sheetrock. But I don't know, sometimes they pick it up, you get it for seven days. Sometimes they pick it up that seventh day and without even calling, nothing. And there have been other times when it was been here for three weeks, you know, obviously they didn't need to need the dumpster back and then I have to call them to pick it up. I don't want to put it right here. And then next Thursday, I have to hook that thing up to my truck for the Landcastle thing that we're going to and then have a hard time kind of maneuvering around in there. Well, that's one tank right there. Go in and make some lunch. What, maybe two more tanks will do it, I think? My lower back is saying, please stop cutting wood. <laughs> I've been doing so much of it lately. And my upcoming hernia surgery is saying, cut this wood so you're not doing it when it's 20 below in February. There's my mom's zucchini cupcakes. They're called Pina Colada Zucchini Cupcakes with Nuts. You can't taste the zucchini. That's what the little note says. They look really good. And I bet they are. I'm going to try one after lunch. My mom's the sweetest woman on the planet. Unless of course you back talk her and she come at you with that wooden spoon when you were a kid. <laughs> That's one tank. I might get the rest of it in one more tank. I don't know what kind of wood. I'd have to ask Jim the tree guy. Which one was it? Is it these ones over here? No. Yeah, this kind right here. I don't know what that is. If that's an elm or... I don't remember ash cutting that hard. That stuff is probably going to burn forever. Real tight rings. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but that is some hard wood.
I'm super happy that that is done. Not super happy that I have to order one more load the same size. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that pile's cut up. Probably come out here a little bit later and do some splitting. Brandon's out there cutting the grass. It really needs it. But we hadn't had any rain. We just got some rain, so that might be one of the last times it has to be mowed this year. He already got this much crap out of the guest house. There was a pile of junk right here that he got picked up. Wow, first time you've been able to walk in this room, I think, since I insulated. That is nice. It was so hard to tape the ceiling when you're trying to reach over on a ladder over a junk pile. I'll be able to get in here real nice now. My next two weeks are so busy. There's like no time to, to take a break. Today's Friday. Next Thursday we leave with the ice castle for four days. Get back on Sunday, Thursday morning, leave for duck camp for four days. <laughs> yeah, two doctor appointments in between there. Six or maybe seven weeks and we'll be firing that thing up. I came back out here and I split all the wood that was around the splitter and then I thought oh good it's uh I'm done for now because I Melissa's going to be coming home from work and I always talk to her on her ride home and no she has gonna, she's going to stay one or two hours late today it's Friday so she doesn't have to work the whole weekend she's really super busy so it was like well <laughs> I guess I better get back out here and split some more wood
done for this 12 cord. Everything's cut that's going to be cut. Everything is split that's going to be split. Right after next weekend when we go to the land castle thing, then I will order another 12 cord. There was uh, four, four or five deer out of the deer block. I don't know, a week ago maybe. And Chunky was out, and he seen him, and he got all mad and goes out there barking and doing his stuff. And of course, the deer ran off. <laughs> then he went over to the deer block and peed all over the deer block. So I saw those deer. Was it yesterday or whatever? But I'm gonna go throw some corn around the deer block. To kind of bring them back in, I like watching them. And for those of you that haven't watched the videos for three years, they made it illegal to feed them. And now this year, it had been three full years without any deer having CWD, the chronic wasting disease when they tested them. So now we can feed again. So this is legal. I'm also getting a lot of questions on earless. We have not saw, uh, seen earless this October. I believe it will be three years or four years. I'd have to look back, but we saw her right up until that hunting season and we never saw her again. Now she was getting really old. She was really popped out the kids, but she was looking pretty rough. But still, I think somebody probably harvested her, but I have no idea. Melissa got home from work and uh, when she's coming up the road there's a puppy in the ditch so she grabbed it I mean it was there was no houses there brought it home brings it in the house and I see that it's covered in fleas or we've seen it when she was bringing it in so then straight to the bathtub wash it with Dawn soap dish soap and you let it sit for 10 minutes kills all the fleas so got them all killed off Took a couple pictures and I put it on the the website, the Facebook site for the city here. And now hopefully we can find the owners for it. But so that took some time. But now I'm coming out to get some cherry tomatoes because I saw this thing. I don't know where I I don't know if it was a TikTok video or where I saw it, but we have one more freeze dryer tray that isn't full. We have two of them that are full of mashed potatoes. And what are the other two? I can't even remember. Anyway, they're in the freezer, but we need to get the fifth tray filled. And what they did is they took the cherry tomatoes and cut them in half, put the skin side down. I can't remember what they put on top of it, and then seasoning, and then put it in the freeze dryer. And when they come out, if you know, they're, anything you do in the freeze dryer, it doesn't, the shape doesn't change at all. It doesn't get smaller or anything. But well, sometimes it'll get bigger. If you put a Skittle in there, the Skittle will puff up like a piece of popcorn and it's crunchy then. Um, anyway, I wanted to try that snack for the last tray so if I can get it, get these cut, get them seasoned, put in the tray, put in the freezer so they're pre-frozen. We can start the freeze dryer tomorrow. But when you do different kinds of food in the freeze dryer, you want to get them pre-froze so that none of the tastes go together. And we have a lot of red cherry tomatoes. 
but it's getting dark. Well, I'm not sure if that's enough or not, but sending a colorblind guy out when it's getting dark to get cherry tomatoes probably not the smartest thing. <laughs> Hopefully they're all red. This one looks a little green. Now I'm going to put this in the freezer. Tomorrow it'll be ready for the freeze dryer. Good morning everybody. Decided to get a load of stuff for the dumpster and then that styrofoam that came out of the wall where we put the window in in the back part of the workshop. Instead of just throwing that away I put a layer of it underneath that cantilever. That's always a cold spot so 
and you know the rest of it will get skirted so anyway I just put it there it can't hurt anything Brandon's out mowing the front yard right now and I've got to get the barbecue pulled out and get the charcoal started because we're just kind of I think I got a small thing of spare ribs I've got a I don't know if it was a porterhouse steak and then some other kind of steak three things I took out of the reduced bin when I was shopping the other day and then Melissa's gonna make some eggs and some hash browns and just kind of have a little I don't know what you'd call it but it's gonna be a good lunch ribs and steaks are on the grill. Well, a little while after lunch today, there was no chance of rain, and it started raining. Now it's almost 7.30. Just been a light rain, but I never made it out there to do that trailer because it was raining and stuff, so more to do tomorrow. Quarter after 10, time to get ready for bed. Raining again. Good morning, everybody. It's actually getting close to lunchtime. This morning I dug all the potatoes up in the one potato garden, not in the, the main garden, but uh, I did a separate video on that. And now Melissa's making this huge batch of vegetable soup to go into the freeze dryer and also she's going to make a beef stew, vegetable beef stew, whatever, for us to eat for whenever, dinner I suppose tonight and for a few days. And she needs some potatoes so the, I had a bunch that got eaten by those little uh, old bugs there, a grub, I think they're the kind that turn into a June bug. And those potatoes I won't be able to store, but she can cut off the bad part of them and use them in the soup and the stew. So I'm supposed to get that, bring her in some onions from the garden, green pepper, uh, two or three green peppers. She's just throwing a bunch of stuff in there. I'm just going to get some of these potatoes out of here. I love growing potatoes, I really do. This one is fine.
the old diesel truck, the back of that cleaned out. This was, remember, right before winter last year, me and Zach got the, that roof on. And this is the last of that scrap. I want to get that in there. And that tarp right there is what we put underneath there, so there's some shingle pieces in there. But I have tomorrow also. Tuesday I work, Wednesday I've got uh, doctor appointment with the surgeon to talk about when they're gonna do the surgery. So I can take care of this stuff tomorrow and then Thursday we leave. So right now I have one other thing I wanna get done today though. This is where Melissa and I are planting the elderberry bushes that she got. And these get 12 feet tall and 12 feet on top, which I've talked about in a, a different video. So I'm putting them eight feet apart, roughly. And I'm gonna get these in the ground right now because otherwise I'm not gonna get it before winter. And it's best to get them in right now so they have a good run at it in the spring. Well, I got all five of them planted. I'm gonna go get some water so I can douse them real good. And I think right before it gets real cold, I'm gonna like put a bunch of straw around or some hay around the bottom of them. I don't know why. When it gets to 30 below, you can do whatever you want like that. It's gonna freeze the ground, but let's get them watered anyway.
Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. I was just in there talking to Melissa and I said, this is the first weekend in a long time that I actually feel like we got a lot of stuff done. <laughs> You're gonna kill yourself, Chunky. Yeah. Melissa found this little girl on the side of the road in the ditch on her way home from work Friday. And uh, we'll call the police stations tomorrow, but they nobody was there this weekend trying to find the owner. Cute little girl though, she's smart. I will see you guys on the next video. Beauty, you trying to be at the end of every one of the videos now? <laughs>